So if you open that up, <laughs> they just have these things for you already. Brand set. Here's the TV. <gasps> What? They updated the TV show? There's a tantrum one. You didn't give me my Robux! Boom. Look at that thumbnail, guys. <gasps> ah! I'm so excited. Tear! Oh my gosh. Ooh, this looks cool. Listen to that music. Is there music? Hold on. Same music as previous years, but that's okay. <gasps> okay. <laughs> is update day. After all the teasers, everything we've been through, it's time. It's finally here. Let me see if they have the update notes. I don't think so. Future PETA will list the update notes, but... All right. Hi, future PETA here with the update notes. I'm holding my microphone. Have anything to say about this? I didn't think so. Right, this is version 0.12.0. So they said, Hey, Bloxburgers, with the arrival of autumn, something eerie is in the air. It's officially spooky season. Over the past few years, Bloxburg has become a hub for chilling and perplexing mysteries. From the inexplicable appearance of noobs in the mine to the mysterious vanishing of Boomer, not to mention the shocking explosion of Bloxburgers and the enigma of Susan's unwavering dedication to the furniture store, you've witnessed it all. But brace yourselves for what's on the horizon is unlike anything you've ever encountered. Are you prepared to embark on a spine-tingling journey alongside Tom and the rest of Bloxburg's residents? So they re-added plenty of pumpkins and orchard farm featuring a new mysterious location and adventure. Re-added fall and Halloween decorations and locations to the town. Added new fall and Halloween themed decorations, foods, and animatronics! Added backpack feature allowing quick access to many equipable and interactive objects. Added new interactive objects and props. Added new Victorian style furniture items. Added new trapdoors and hatches. Overhauled multiple TV channels. Added new TVs and soundbar speakers. Added subcategories to decorations category and build mode catalog. Added new animations and subcategories and major bug fixes. Without further ado, I'm gonna check without knowing anything. So first things first, um, I guess we can take a quick glance, just a quick one. But yeah, everything is decorated. Oh, I can't wait to check out everything. Okay, first things first, let's go to build mode. So if you go to decorate new, oh my god. <gasps> Whoa! Oh, okay, okay, okay. I need to stop. I need to stop. I need to stop. Oh my gosh. Okay, look at all the new stuff. Thing we have here is a Halloween face painting kit. Decorations and bathroom for spooky face paintings. Oh wow. <gasps> that's it. That's awesome. And it's only for sale during Halloween, so stock up on these if you see that. Uh, we also have a porcelain pumpkin jar. We also have the fall welcome mat, which is. Wait, that's new, right? That is new. Oh, I was about to say, that's we've had that before, but it was the spring one. We, and I think this one's just permanent. It doesn't say limited for sale. And it's perfect for those big cozy dinners or evenings with your near and dear. <laughs> All right, we also have our first ever Halloween limited edition vehicle. So it's a Spooky Spokes Witch's Broomstick Bike. Hop on this pedal-powered broomstick and dash into the night as you search for many tasty treats. <gasps> Ooh, it has a light on it too. Can you see that? Oh my gosh, it has a light on it. Can you change the light? <gasps> wow! You can change the light of the Okay, we're gonna leave it default. The next thing we have some are some paper leaves garlands. Decorate your home for fall with this homemade limited edition garland. This garland homely decor is 100 percent handcrafted. Come get it now. Okay, so let's go ahead and put those around. So yeah, I'm gonna custom place them. Oh, that's what that looks like. Here is the um Here's the regular version without custom placement, but it looks really good. Ah, I love it. And the next thing we have is a Turf Trooper Leaf Blower. With the Turf Trooper Leaf Blower, you can blow away your leaf-shaped foes. All right, I can't wait. A leaf blower. And then we also have a chainsaw. <laughs> we have a chainsaw. Yes. With that Turf Trooper Chainsaw, you can cut down many things with ease. <laughs> I can't wait. We also have some wooden pumpkin silhouette. Totally three-dimensional pumpkins to decorate your home during the fall and ha Halloween season. Works perfectly if you think carving a real pumpkin is a little bit nasty, but still want the festive spirit. Ooh, I like how they're, you know, they're considering all these things, you know? What if you don't like cutting pumpkins, right? You don't like carving them this is easier for you oh we also have an animatronic <gasps> animatronics wait they're actually a thing <laughs> animatronic giant dropping spider oh i need to see this oh i need to see this so yeah it drops down to spook the unsuspecting person below and it costs block bucks of course yeah these things are pretty i would say they're kind of maybe performance heavy so that's why they are so costly and you can't get as many as you want okay 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 let's just we're gonna leave it 
But we also have an animatronic zombie, as we suspected. It causes a startling scene when someone is nearby. Okay, so you have to be near these things, right? We also have an animatronic skeleton coffin that emerges from the coffin, really rattling the bones of a nearby person. All right, let's grab that as well. Grip my block bucks. Grip my block bucks. Hopefully you guys have been saving. Oh, okay. I just want to see those. All right, I can't wait to go around those. Um, moving on, we have a historic figure sculpture. An intricate curly decorate carving of a key historical figure representing both great significance and value. But through but through the seeing spectacle, a careful eye is always watching. That sounds suspicious. Wait, is this like an animatronic thing? It's a surface decor like the- Oh no, that's just a new thing. Wall decor. Oh, and you can tell like by the descriptions, like they have like more categories. Wait, does that mean we have like wall decor thingies then? Wait, oh no. Oh, <gasps> Whoa, I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! Okay, so notice how in the description it tells you specifically what it is. So yeah, when you go to decorate and decorations, there's a new subcategory. There's clutter, bathroom, maintenance, oh my gosh! <gasps> I knew it, because yeah, it's a lot more organized now. The decorations is a lot more organized. Victor's Victorian chandelier. An elegant chandelier decorated with many fine crystals. Victor's precious chandeliers hung brightly above his many guests, shining the crystal shimmering rays upon a sea of people in the vast rooms while they're dancing. And to like, I'm reading that really fast, but... Oh, we got two versions of it. We have a large one and I believe just a regular one. So we have this and then we also have this. That is a very indeed large one. They were not kidding. But of course, if you don't like it like drooping too low, you can kind of move it up a bit. If you don't like this one too high, yeah. That's really interesting. Ooh, very nice. Perfect for the Halloween builds or like haunted mansions of your own. Victorian homes and such. We have the Victoria Victor's Victorian floor lamp. Okay, so we have basically have a new set. It shines bright to show its ornate detailing. The lamp stood tall to illuminate. I love how each of these have their own like story with it, if you think about it. Um... But yeah, if you want to read it, you can. Usually I would read them all, but it's pretty long. It never quite sh quite shine bright enough to eliminate all the shadows and many mysteries within them. So, okay, we also have a table lamp version of that if you don't like the floor one. We also have a Victor's Victorian Candelabra... Candelabra? Candelabra wall sconce. <laughs> um, yes, I know how to pronounce things, don't you worry. So let's put down the wall. Yes, a candelabra. Candelabra. <laughs> Candelabra. Fall leaves pillow. A pillow that is perfect for your fall seasonal decorating needs. And yes, we have a fall pillow. In case you don't celebrate Halloween, there is a fall version. And as I suspected, the jack-o'-lantern pillow. Always smiles back. A snack that always smiles back. Goldfish. Okay, that's all I could think of. We also have a Victor Victor's Victorian Globe table. Oh, ooh, that's really cool. Wow, yeah, once again, I love how all these items have a really cool, like, story, like, within the description. So, yeah, if you want more, you know, lore, there you go. Um, there's a pumpkin pillow. I love decorative pillows. We also have a Victor's Victorian desk. Okay, Victorian set. Okay, Victorian set. Okay, it's basically a Victorian set. Not a Victor set, a Victorian set. <laughs> I really said, we have a Victor set. It's handcrafted desk. It looks really beautiful and that's what that looks like. I can't wait. I'm gonna put this on the, let me put this up here. Let me put all these things up here, except for the floor lamp, put those together. Okay, next thing we have is a covered Victorian armchair. Yes, a mysteriously covered armchair that seems to have been stored away for a long time. Wonder what lies beneath the sheet. That is very spooky. But yeah, you know how in like in those old Victorian homes, um, I think it's to prevent dust getting all over it and such. They just cover it, right? That's my only my only thought process is, but you can use it as like decoration. So if you need to clutter attics or like storage spaces, this is perfect. We also have an end table. Rest of Victor Von Vlox's furniture. Oh, we got the full name, Victor Von Vlox. Friends Tom was, his friend Tom was very fond of his particular end table so much that Victor gifted a similar one to Tom when he became mayor of Bloxburg. Tom is officially mayor of Bloxburg. <gasps> okay, lore. All right, lore. So we know what Tom is actually, you know, his purpose in town. He's the mayor. So we have a chair and a chair with arms version. So that is nice, giving us options, variety to choose from. Uh, we also have the Victorian coffee table. And then we also have a dining table. Ooh, this dining table. That is beautiful. Oh my gosh, let me decorate it. Okay. Oh, and it fits six on each side. And then, of course, at the end. Were the dining tables always like this? I feel like... Oh, no. Maybe it was always like that. The Victorian sofa, of course. Maybe this is what's underneath the sheet. That's what it looks like. But you never know what could be under that. We also have the armchair. Victorian sofa and armchair. We also have a washing sponge. What? We... I 
We finally have a sponge. <laughs> you know how people were build hacking this? They just put like a box, dyed it yellow, and put like that one camouflage texture on it or something. I forget what it was called. There you go. We actually have a sponge now, guys. Can you believe it? After all these years. We also have a paintbrush, a spray painter. Ooh, like the one from the mechanical job. We also have laundry detergent. Oh my gosh. I love how they're adding things that aren't actually like fall related, but they're just adding extra things. We have a vacuum. <laughs> Your trusty sidekick in the battle against dust bunnies and crumbs. All right, we have more. There is an NYX Vintage View TV. A retro TV is a blast from the past. It's not just a TV. A hefty slice of nostalgia and a time capsule filled with fuzzy channels and vintage charm. They have one that you can just place like a surface one and they also have a wall mounted one. <gasps> ah, that's so cool. Once again, I love the variety. There's a sound bar. So there's a sound bar and a wall mounted one. Okay. Oh, I okay. I know what these are. Wait, that's really cool. Oh gosh, there's so many things. We also have a fancy framed TV. Wait, there are new TVs here. There's also a modern framed TV. I that is so cool. Wow, new TVs. Did not expect that coming. There's a there's also studio truss lighting. Oh yes, for your stages. People are gonna make a lot of stages now. There's also a handful of money, just decorative money. Yes. Finally, we could have like vaults and banks and whatnot, just a bunch of money. We also have a handheld broadcast microphone. Magical wand that turns your voice into a superstar. <laughs> wow, dropping sick beats, nailing interviews, or just pretending you're the world's quick quirkiest game show host. The descriptions, they're just, they never fail to make me like, what the heck. Loaded upright hand truck. There's so many roleplay items, guys. They have an empty one. And then there's also the the one that's filled up. This, this is a, this is a great update so far. A loaded flatbed cart. Once again, empty, and then one that has things on it. Assuming you can push these and just pretend like you're at a depart, like a warehouse, a department store. There's also an ink pen. There's so many things that are just in general really good, which I'm really glad for. I'm really glad for these things. Pencil and an ink pen. Hinting a school update. Just kidding. There's also a walkie talkie. Get ready to channel your inner secret agent with our walkie talkie, the pocket sized gadget that makes mundane tasks like grocery shopping feel like you're on top of a secret mission to find the world's largest bag of potato chips. The descriptions. Whoever wrote these, give them a raise. I don't know. Bowl of kimchi? Bowl of kimchi. <gasps> kimchi! Oh my gosh, guys. This is a Korean thing. Kimchi. Very, very famous. You know, everyone, most people know about kimchi. But yes. I'm glad they're adding like, oh, culture. You know, they're adding some culture. There's also just a square glass bowl in case you need an empty one. We also have chopsticks! <gasps> chopsticks! I'm glad we have chopsticks as a decorative item. We also have a road barrier. Perfect for under construction sort of builds. Like, you know, you're building a town, you're like under construction. There's a wet floor sign too. Don't slip. You don't get sued. A spray bottle. <laughs> oh my god. There's a spray bottle. There's also a hammer, power drill, wrench. Finally, garage is having some stuff. Paint roller, a screwdriver. There's a flat mop, which I put on the wall. There's a handsaw. Oh my gosh. There's a Digitech professional film camera. Oh, there's credit cards. Oh, these are all things we can put in our inventory. That's why there's so many roleplay elements. But yeah, backpack system itself. There's a cheese grater. There's an AccuSlim 2. AccuSlim has a new thing. Ceiling mounted TV. Oh my goodness. Okay, we also have a clipboard. Perfect role play. Love that. Push broom. We're putting that there. There's a wooden toolbox and filled one. And then of course an empty one. Variety, variety, you guys. I love it. I love it. I love it. They're so considerate. I love Blockberg devs. So I have a bag of money. Perfect. Another bank type of thing, you know? Just, yep. We've got a trash bag. Oh, we got a news anchor desk. <gasps> wow! I love it. And then we also have a C Lens Professional DSLR camera. So those are all of the new items we got from build mode. Okay, I'm going to build new. Oh my gosh, I completely forgot. We also have wooden cellar doors, a pair of wooden wooden cellar doors, which can be opened to access whatever lies below. Do I have something down here now? No. I bet you I have to put a, pa a basement down first. Like in order to make this work, you need a place like a basement, right? So yeah, we have a cellar door. We also have a wooden hat floor hatch to reveal whatever lies below. Oh, once again, you're definitely gonna need either like another level or a basement for this. I'm just gonna lead it to a basement. I wanna make sure to include a ladder real quick. One moment. 
All right, large hidden floor hatch. A hidden hatch that blends into the surrounding materials. I wonder where it goes. So I have a small hidden floor hatch. So it's like a square one. Oh, we got a Victorian fireplace. Ooh. Oh, we got we have a tall one and just a normal sized one. Sweet. Oh, that's so nice. And we have a sliding trapdoor, a hidden sliding trapdoor. And then we also have the hidden folding trapdoor. So it activates to drop the unsuspecting into the unknown. So like as soon as you step on it, you just it, it just activates. Oh, let me just try and hide this real quick. Let me see. Um, don't mind me. Um, so here's the cellar door. You can lock it for guests, but it opens up like that. You do need to add your own stairs and such there. So there's cellar door. Here's a the hatches. Oh, this is so cool. <gasps> okay, well, this one didn't have a basement, but you get the idea. Wow. Which I didn't put a thing under. And these are the activated ones. So as soon as you step on it, oh, boom. Oh, there you go. Okay. Wow. I love that. I'm literally just going to build a house underground with these things. I'm just going to build an underground, actual underground house. No one will know. And I also want to test out this backpack system. So if you click the arrow at the bottom, this is your hot bar for like items and such. But also, if you notice at the bottom right, there's an actual backpack icon. So if you open that up, they just have these things for you already. There's just props and stuff, role plays. Wow! Oh my god, there's favorited items as well. Oh, and there's emotes that you can just use. Oh my gosh. Oh, I oh, I knew it. I knew it. So if you hold if you hold on something and drag it to your hotbar, make it your shortcut. So this is your shortcut right here at the bottom. So um, let's say I put an emote there and I press one. I'm just sitting. That's so cool. That's so cool. That's so cool. Okay. All right. Sorry. I had to test that out. Let me drag that back. Let me just drag it out. But yeah, there's so many things. There's so many things. Look at that. I can just pull out an item whenever I want. Some people said they don't really like the whole backpack thingy, but I think it's because it was in the way of the screen. So you can put that down whenever you want. I'm sure people are fine with this update now. I'm, I was surprised people are like, I don't like the backpack on my screen, but yeah, you can push it down if you like all right let's see what else we have let's just look at the entirety of this backpack so you have family items and of course if you don't want to see the family stuff there's a drop down menu there's props there's tools um there's of course the seasonal items here so you have your trick-or-treat trick-or-treat baskets i believe you just have to like put it on your plot to access that so let me do that real quick because i don't have any of those on my in my plot i wonder why it's locked i wonder why it's locked oh maybe i have to hold it oh oh okay so you unlock it within your backpack oh <gasps> hey that's so cool that's so cool all right so yeah if you if these things are locked you have to put on your plot and then use it and then you can use it whenever you want anything we also have of course our emotes there's a bunch of emotes for you to choose from from dances to gestures to emotions <laughs> <laughs> you stop that right now, okay? Listen to me. You stop that right now. I'm super shy. Of course, my favorite emote is the cheer one. There's a tantrum one. You didn't give me my Robux! And of course, you have your exercises, which I'm sure you have to unlock each one from the athletic skill to clutter items that you can grab, containers, light sources, miscellaneous. There's just... <gasps> this is a crazy! Self-care, flowers. You have a gardening area, like tools, gardening tools. Oh my gosh, let me get the rake out. Let me get that shovel whenever I want. So again, drag it to your hot bar if you want. Let me get my screwdriver here. I'm gonna, oh, let me get my saw. Have access to these things whenever we want. That's insane. So there are so many things. What does this do? Oh, it hides all of it. Okay, an item to unlock it. Okay, so they even tell you how to do these things. So you double tap to favorite. <gasps> oh, oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. But anyways, guys, that that is so cool. Let me try this vacuum. No, there's no sound. There's no sound, but look at me. <laughs> I look silly. I look silly. Got my trick or treat basket whenever I want. Okay. All right. Anyways, that is the backpack system. That is. This is crazy. Let's go ahead and look at everything. Like, let's let's go to the animatronics first. Ah! <laughs> Sorry. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, and they make sounds. The zombie. Okay. Anytime you're near them. Yeah. Look at that. The skeleton goes back into its coffin. The zombie does its thing. The spider literally jumps on you. People are actually going to get scared. 
Like, I can actually picture it now. People are gonna put this around and scare you. Okay, what about this thing? I feel like this thing is, like, creepy. It's definitely gonna do something, right? Oops, sorry. All right, can I go in there with you? That's awesome. <gasps> oh, I unlocked a wet floor sign. Wait, you just place it. Let me try the Halloween makeup thingy. Ooh, let's use it. All right, let's put let's put on a let's put on some face paint, shall we? Some face paint. I want to see what I look like. Oh, I'm a pumpkin. Ooh, we have a leaf blower. Look at that, guys. I'm blowing away leaves. Blowing some leaves. That's nice. Here's our chainsaw. That's my sound effect because there's no sound effect. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm dumb. I'm sorry. Okay, we have those. Uh, let's go over here. So you can't sit on the, of course, covered chairs. Makes sense. Why would you want to sit on them? But we're in set. Here's the TV. <gasps> what? They updated the TV show? Like the news broadcast is updated. Wait, they updated Gordon Bloxy. He's not just cutting a fish anymore. <laughs> And here's the brand new... This is the brand new TV show. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Okay, and then there's a fireplace channel. Still the same. Oh wait, what was the fifth one? Was that the unicorn channel? Let me see. Who, what's this one? Oh, no more unicorn. They replaced the unicorn. Ooh. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's like the nature channel. They have an outdoor nature channel. But this is funny. This is me. That's me. Okay, but we have new TV shows! <laughs> Guys, this is crazy. Awesome. Oh my gosh. Wait, this is insanity. Alright, let me just unlock these things in my backpack now. I have a paint roller. I'm pretend to paint stuff. I'm pretend to paint stuff here. Yep, I'm painting things. I gotta really try everything out. But yeah, it's like tightening things. Here's our screwdriver. Somebody wanting to get hit? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Not for violence. For... For reasonable things. We also have a spray bottle. Oh, let me pay my bill. I have a spray bottle. Wood cutting saw thingy. Perfect. Push these things around. Can you push this one around? Of course you can. Oh, and it's a lot heavier. Nice detail in that, actually. But yeah, hand trucks. Kimchi? Oh, you can't even eat the kimchi. It's just like a decoration. Okay. Um, the walkie-talkie. Oh, you can use it. Wow. Code red. Code red. Over. I'm gonna be a reporter, guys. I'm gonna be a reporter. Just in. Just in. Halloween update dropped. What do you have to say about that? <laughs> I have so many intro ideas. <laughs> oh, we got a credit card. We got our credit card. Our cheese grater. That's kind of fun. Sponge now. You can actually use it. Oh, it's got particles on it. Oh, yes. We've got money. Of course, we got our toolbox thingies. Nice. Our bags of cash. Clipboard. Of course. Hmm. It looks like you have a bit of, um, diarrhea. Yeah. Act everything out, but yeah. We also have our push broom here. Ooh, okay. Oh, trash bag. You got a trash bag whenever you want. Here's the flat mop. I'm unlocking every one of these things, by the way, in my backpack. And they have a camera. Like, what? What? All right. Did I look at everything here? Oh, there's a camera. Ooh. I wish you could, like, actually, like, snap pictures, like, have a flash moment, but maybe that's... Maybe that's not it. But yeah, there's a camera. There's a camera. Okay, I think I looked at everything. All right, let's take a look at the bike now. Oh, wait, I'm too young for that. We have to be our exclusive limited vehicle. And it's just a bike with the broom attached to it. You know what? I'm not going to complain. This is great. This update has been amazing so far. So next thing we're going to take a look at are the food items. So take ingredients. We'll go through here first and we'll find new stuff. So the pumpkin cookies are back. The ghost cookies are back. Asiago cheese. It's going to be like Asia go cheese. <laughs> Asiago. Pepper berry cheese. Loaf of bread. <laughs> Me. Loaf of bread. Okay, so these are like permanent because they're just, they're not like starred. Pumpkin muffins are back. Halloween cupcakes are back. Pumpkin chocolate chip bread. Spooky cake pops are back. Tombs tombstone brownies are back. Halloween cake is back. Kimchi grilled cheese sandwich. Asiago cheese, we just have to cut it, right? So let's just cut the cheese. Who cut the cheese? Oh, the way I'm cutting this, though. Yeah, there you go. Our cheese is cut. The pepperberry pepper berry cheese. I'm assuming it's just similar thing. My, I'm sorry. My kitchen is messy. We've got loaf of bread. It's time to make our loaf of bread, guys. About time. We have a loaf of bread. Yes, I'm preparing. Let's bake the bread. Ah! Bread! While the bread is baking, let's, let's make some more stuff. We gotta make everything. Okay. 
Uh, pumpkin chocolate chip bread. Oh, I have to, I need another oven. I can't make that one yet. We'll come back to make that one. Let's see if there's any quick meal items that we can take a look at. Ooh, witch's brew fearsome frog juice. Ooh, do you microwave this? Oh, you just drink it. Ooh, ooh, it looks like there's gummy worms in there. That is cool. That is cute. All right. Oh, wait, wait, what was that? Plate of pumpkin macaroons. Oh! <gasps> We don't have to prepare macaroons? That is unheard of. That is unheard of. We don't have to make these macaroons. Thank goodness. I'm not gonna lie. Thank you. Thank you, devs. But yay, pumpkin macaroons. Hooray. Well, that's about it. That's the last thing. Oh, the bread is done. The bread is done. Let's take it out. Yes. Now we have to cut it. And there's the bread. You could just, you know, you could just eat it. Oh, you need to place it on the counter. Okay. Well, it literally just, there you go. Finally bread. My cameo. Did I just grab a bunch of bread? Oopsie. But let's just go ahead and go into the town now. That's our last thing we need to do. I'm gonna look at the old things and then I'll go to the big old mansion. But yes, of course, as expected, the graveyard is back. Graveyard is back in session. Everything is decorated for this, the holidays, this, the spookiness. I love Pizza Plant. Everyone's also, the NPCs are wearing costumes. Not all of them, but some of them are wearing costumes, as you can see. Even fancy furniture got decorations. I think that's old. Ooh, Beats Nightclub. Has Beats Nightclub always gotten Halloween decorations? Of course, City Hall is decorated. You got a lot of things outdoor. And of course, the new area, Bloxburg Gym is decorated. It revamped. Ooh, spooky. Okay, BFF Supermarket's got an upgrade. You got pumpkins here for sale too. And of course, oh, Styles got the ghost. Burger got a re like a little Halloween decorations, a few Halloween decorations as well. And of course, this pumpkin stand is here too, by the way. I almost, I almost forgot to mention. And then if you guys need to know where that is, it's of course near the campsite as most event places usually are, except for like that one summer festival. But yep, the campgrounds right next to the campgrounds. Wow, this is crazy. Okay, we have arrived, guys. Oh, the, Sabrina's not here anymore, the witch. Maybe she's somewhere else. Maybe they put her somewhere else. Oh, she's over there. I see that purple tent. All right, look at that, plenty of pumpkins. Let's take a, a quick peek around this place, then we go into the Haunted Mansion. Yeah, they move Sabrina's stand over here now, in case you're wondering. She sells, of course, a lot of things for you. We can even talk to you. What's the deal with the locked Haunted Mansion over there? Oh, that's the home of Helen Von Vlox, who has been haunting the farm for a long time. It is but it is believed that her ghost has been unable to find closure in this life. Can I help? If you're brave enough, you will need to talk to the ghost and find out what's binding her to this world. I can lend you a hand with that and can brew you a potion that will let you see them. But unfortunately, I lost the potion recipe book somewhere in the barn. Bring it to me and I'll make you a potion. <gasps> a quest? A quest? Okay, in the barn. In the barn, guys. We gotta find this recipe. In the barn. Let's do that. Ooh. I'm so excited. Where's the recipe? Hey, excuse me. Is it up here? You think it's up there? How do we get up there? Oh, maybe... Oh! Y you know what? I feel like they would put it up here. Yeah. Oh, you can sleep in this coffin. Okay. Maybe it's on the other side. Let's try and find... to Look to see. <gasps> it is up here! Wow. Oh, my oh, you can open this up too. All right, so you gotta do a little bit in obby, but I think... Can you even, you could probably get to this part like just from here, right? There's the recipe, guys. We got it. Book is here. All right. But yeah, I'm pretty sure you can just, yeah, you don't even have to do all that. Just climb up this tree, climb on the barn door, and then just jump here. You don't have to go that way unless you want a more ad adventurous route. Let's go ahead and hand this book over to Sabrina. You're back! And you found the book? That's just what I need to get started. It is written in some cryptic language though, so I will need some time to translate the pages. For now, try practicing some potions using the cauldron over there. Just add an item and see what happens. Come back later and I'll have the first page translated. What cauldron? What cauldron? Which cauldron? What are you talking about? Cauldron over there? Oh! Oh, over there. Equip any item to use this ma Oh, what? Let me put this rake in. <laughs> I love how my first instinct. Oh, there's a potion. Let's drink it. Let's see what happens. What? Oh, I'm green. Ugh, I'm a zombie. It's the 5G network. All right, let's try putting in my Halloween basket in next. Let's see what that does. What this conjures. Am I gonna turn purple? Oh, interesting. Okay, what about this vacuum now? I bet you one of these things that you put in will actually like do something crazy. But right now, it just changes your skin color. So that's fun. That is very fun. Are you done yet, Sabrina? Come back later. Ooh, I wonder how later then. Ooh, is this gonna be like the next day or something? That would be. F oh, so we can't even access the mansion yet? What do you mean later? By how much? How how long? How long is later? 
Sabrina. I can open the gate. Uh, the door is locked. Talk to Sabrina the witch at her snack stand. Okay. Well, well, we can't go in the mansion yet, guys. Can I, like, spy? Is that cheating if I just... Okay, it's empty. The place is empty, guys! <laughs> the place is empty! Nothing's actually in here yet. But, wow, look at this mansion, though. We can actually get a good look at it now. Like, the colors and everything in the daylight. Very cool. Very cool. Very Victorian mansion. It's definitely got a haunted vibe. Very abandoned. Very spooky. Eerie. So, that is a very good look at our mansion. Inside, if you really think about it, inside is hollow. <laughs> I love this band. I want to dance here. Oh, oh, oh. You can actually, like, once you click yourself on emotes, they have categories now for these two. Exercises. Dances are here. Emotions. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. All right, guys. Well, we got a good look at our first quest. And the first thing is give Sabrina her book. Can't wait. I'll probably make more videos on updates to that quest. I'm sure there's going to be some more involving that with real life time. Stay tuned. Stay tuned for that. I'm making the kimchi grilled cheese. And this is huge. But anyway, guys, what an update. I feel like this is the update of the year. There's just so many things. This, this update left me pretty much screaming and kind of speechless at the same time yeah let me know how what you guys think of it Bloxburg outdid themselves with this update my favorite update so far ever what do you think about it <laughs> i need to stop but anyway guys if you enjoyed this episode you found it interesting helpful in any way make sure to leave a big old thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button it is completely free and i will see you guys in the next video goodbye this update was insane i i still can't believe it like what also, do not be surprised if you see me holding the microphone at all times. It's just, I don't know why I like it so much. And eating bread.